Hey everyone. So I realise it's been quite a while since I've updated everybody on uh, the activities of Be The Change. And this isn't because nothing's going on in the background. So I realise that the less I say, uh, the less I communicate with people what's going on, um, including all the beautiful people that sponsor children for us um, and that donate to us. So here is an update. So thanks all for your patience. Um, I just uh, basically, as I said, it's not because the things haven't been going on in the background. Um, we're constantly working. Um, the charity is always doing things and supporting the children and working on projects in the background. So I want to keep you as updated as possible. So I'm making a commitment now to do updates every couple of weeks because there's so much going on, so much changing that's really important that you all know. And also so that we can touch with people that would like to get involved and help, which is obviously what we really, really rely on. So one of the main reasons why there hasn't been an update for a little while is um, because I run a business, I run a yoga business, um, and I need to do this. I, I absolutely love my job, but I also need to make sure that um, I have income coming in so that I can continue to financially support and fund the charity, um, as well as being able to have uh, to live, but also having the time and the freedom to um, work for the charity. So obviously that's a bit of a catch-22 thing, isn't it? We all, I'm sure we all have experience of this. Um, we have free time. So when I have more free time to support the charity, it means that I'm not earning as much. And when I'm earning more, I don't have as much time. So I'm trying to get to a place which is why I'm building up a lot of my online stuff. So any of you yogis that uh, follow me or join me on your yoga journey, in your meditation journey, in your inner journey, uh, you'll know that I am currently working to have an online platform. So I'm, I'm learning uh, how to build a booking site and a video library, et cetera, et cetera. So all of this stuff uh, takes a lot of time, um, but it will mean that eventually it will give me the freedom to be able to work more, smartly and intuitively so that I can be offering guidance um, as a yoga teacher, as a wellness coach, doing meditations, um, meditation teaching, doing my Reiki work and shamanic work that I do with um, some of you guys uh, and doing that more smartly so that the rest of my time can be focusing on the charity, um, the charity that I started a couple of years ago. We've been registered for about 10 months now and things are progressing beautifully. Um, so basically that's where my heart is, really being able to help more. We're wanting to do more conservation work um, around the gorillas and rainforest conservation. We're wanting to help even more children, even more former child soldiers and vulnerable children. And um, we wanna also be involved in raising awareness about the war in Congo. So more to come on that. That's a really exciting, um, kind of development, which I've been working on in the background. Um, I've been networking and so anyway, have some exciting news on that, but that's a separate video. So this means that at the moment, a lot of my time is taken up trying to build those things so that I can um, keep supporting the charity and keep doing the work that I do. So I'm, I'm grateful for all of your support and all of your patience. Um, so obviously lockdown and the pandemic, et cetera, et cetera, has changed um, the kind of the way that things have looked over the last few months for the charity. So we have sponsors that help support children um, and that support goes to school fees, books, shoes, uniforms um, and a hot lunch every day. So that also continues when they go home. They get support at home in the holidays as well. So it's a really, really lovely package to really hold and nourish a child um, a vulnerable child that needs that help and, and offer opportunity. So we're all about being the change. That be the change ethos is that we offer opportunity. We help um, people that want to help and be of assistance to offer those opportunities, support other people that that maybe don't have uh, the option to, or the, uh, the, they don't have the opportunity, yeah? So we're linking the two, creating those opportunities so that people are empowered. So the people, wanting to assist are empowered and the people that maybe need um, assistance and through no fault of their own. Um, this is again a whole other topic that I won't get into now, but they can feel empowered that 
they have the opportunity, they have the options to go where they want to in life. I would say that this is one privilege that should, it, it really makes a difference, a whole world of difference. Um, that we, if we have an opportunity, we can make our world and our life whatever we want and everybody should have that opportunity. And a lot of people in the world don't. In fact, most people in the world don't. So if you're listening to this video, you're probably in the top 1% of people in the world of the wealth. Um, we might think that we um, it, it sat in, in a, a seat of privilege. That doesn't mean that we have everything that we desire and that life is easy, but it just means that in terms of the world, our global community, we're in the top 1% and are far, far more privileged than the 99 plus percent of the rest of the world. So I'm just gonna let that sink in for a minute. This kind of stuff makes me really emotional because I, I just can't get my head around why it is that way. But basically, if we look at a lot of the world that we live in, a lot of it is built upon the uh, other people being underprivileged. So it's almost like a stepping stone for people in privileged lives. And that obviously isn't done intentionally a lot of the time, but we really need to make sure we're educating ourselves. And so that is what Be The Change wants to do. We want to educate everybody on how to be that change so that the world can be a global community like it should be and like it is. And we can have a flow of empowerment and energy and love and safety and security and opportunity. So during the pandemic, we have supported children at home. So a lot of the children haven't got a family or are in a, fo a foster family. So that foster family usually is supported through Be The Change. We offer support and training to those families that take in a vulnerable child. But so during the pandemic, we've also offered that out to not only the sponsored children's families, but also in the communities that we work in to more families. So in both of the communities, we've supported 40 other families. So in one community, we've reached that goal with an amazing, amazing, amazing donation from um, a trust. So again, another whole video coming along about that. Um, which enabled us to support the 28 families that we hadn't yet got to. Um, and that is being done in the, as we speak. The people on the ground that, we, that are part of Be The Change are sending that love and those care parcels out. So we have our second community. So we're predominantly in two communities, one in the west of Uganda and one in the north. And we'd really, really like to help another 40 families there. So each of these care parcels costs about 15 pounds so it's it's just over 15 pounds um to enable uh the family to have food soap salt beans posho just basically the the staples that they need as well as water treatment tablets um so we are obviously the first thing i'm going to say is that we're aiming um to support those 40 families the pandemic continues and lockdown is still pretty rife in Uganda as well as work having been more of a struggle. So if you imagine that well, people are working hand to mouth and they can't work, they have no stores, they've got no freezer, they've got no way of storing food, no excess money. People work from hand to mouth. That just means that they, they work, they take the money home and buy food for that evening, that week. There's no kind of savings. There's no longer term investment available just because of the way that um, their their situation is, the way that their, the economy is there and the way that um, people live. So that creates a massive, massive issue if you then can't work. So we're wanting to help alleviate some of that for the most in need families. Um, we've, we've used the terminology in need to um, try and give an idea that these are not needy people. These are not people that want to have aid or support. And that isn't what we're doing as a charity. We're wanting to create opportunity. But in this instance, we're happy to provide support or we, we want to. And we're we're over the moon that we're able to provide support for families that don't have that opportunity because of lockdown, because of the pandemic. So the next thing is, so uh, just if you know anybody that would like to donate, please, 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 we, we really, really, we, we live on your 
help and support and the kind generosity of people like you. So the second thing is our sponsored children um, have been having um, their support sent home. So their fees and books and uniform and everything that would normally go towards that has been sent home to the families so that they can use that for um, blankets, mattresses, um, solar lamps, food. I can give you a specific rundown of what's been going on and I will be sending this out to the sponsors. So if you're wanting to join our team of beautiful, wonderful people that donate um, each month to help support a child and their whole family then just let us know so the the primary education children aged children it's uh the cost of 20 pound a month 19 pound 75 a month so if we imagine that that's not even probably a takeaway that's maybe three or four fancy coffees it really does provide a world of opportunity for a child um, we also have our teenagers or former child soldiers, predominantly who are teenagers, and obviously their sponsorship is a lot more. So uh, what we've been doing recently, thanks to some of our trustees, excuse me, I've got a little bit of a um, sniffle at the moment with this cold weather coming in, um, is that um, so their sponsorship for their boarding and for them to be able to stay in the school is about £50 a month. So we've decided to cut this down. So if you're wanting to um, support one of these children, we are now uh, creating packages where multiple people can help support these children. So it'll be the same uh, £19.75 a month, but you can choose which child uh, this donation is sent to. So do let us know if this is something um, that you would be able to help with. Again, we really rely on our sponsors and we're really grateful every single day for every one of you that helps support um, Be The Change. We're growing into enormous things. We have so many exciting things going on, um, but that's updating you on the children. So if anybody wants, again, anybody wants to get involved, we um, have just had two people added on to our um, fabulous Be The Change support group. Um, uh, we have Sam who supported a little boy called Sam. So I'm about to send her her pack. So quite ironic that that's the name of the child that was chosen by the school. Um, and we also have the wonderful Brooke who is, is helping me support Sophie. So you've probably seen Sophie's story. Um, and I put out a plea that uh, I already support four children, including two teenagers, and just financially, I was really struggling to be able to continue to support Sophie. So Brooke has stepped in and saved the day, superwoman, um, and I just can't be more grateful to both of you, Sam and Brooke, thank you very much for your support. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on the donation that we received that helped support the most uh, in need families um, in one of our communities. But I just wanted to say a big thank you. Um, we're able to continue to provide this support thanks to your commitment um, and also the, the, the listening, yeah? I know um, that I have gone on about the charity for a long time and I will continue to do so. But we're moving into a phase now where we want to be able to start putting rainwater harvesting tanks on um, schools so that next year the drought which has just been um, happening won't cause so much um, suffering. So these tanks will go on to the edge of school buildings and we, we create a guttering system and then that collects water and there'll be two huge tanks so that that will see everybody through. When, when there's a lot of rain we can collect that rain and that will then be stored and see um, you know, hundreds and hundreds of children with water throughout the whole of the drought dry season. So um, if this is something you think that you'd like to support, again, donations are being collected at the moment for this reason. Um, and we'll also, we're also sending a plea out to businesses and companies. They can be local or international, but you get tax relief if you support us. So imagine that pot of tax money you've got going on um, that you're gonna pay to the tax man. Some of that can come to us. So rather than sitting in the tax pot, you can send it directly to us and you'll get that relief. We'll also be advertising you as one of our sponsors 
and you can get involved in it as much or as little as you want to. Um, but <clears throat> that's um, an update for us about where we're going next. We also have some exciting um, conservation work coming on board. I know a lot of you know that I will be or have been planning to do some work in Sumatra for quite a while. So I'm planning to go and do that next year and bring in our par a partner charity. So we've already got um, a charity in Congo that we're going to be doing more work with going forward. And we're wanting to bring in one in Sumatra as well. So we can be touching on both of the kind of pressing rainforest issues. And the third exciting piece of news is that we're also bringing in a rainforest conservation charity in Brazil. So those of you that know me know that I volunteered there for a really long time. Um, I did about eight months back in, um, goodness me, showing my age now, back in 2009 and 2010. So uh, we've continued to support them in any way that we can, or I personally have, and we're wanting to bring them in as a partner for Be The Change. So really, really just incredibly exciting stuff, as well as the stuff going on in Congo around our documentary and the support that we want to provide there. So just stay tuned for all the more information about all of this. I'm not going to waffle on any more about this in one video, but yeah, do stay tuned. Please follow along on our Facebook page, Be The Change International, our Instagram, Be The Change underscore international. Um, we're going to start doing more and more videos um, and you can sign up uh, you can find the link on our Instagram and Facebook page to sign up for newsletters. If you can't find that, just drop me a message. Really, really would love to have you all along for the journey. We send updates every month. Um, and as I said, we're going to try and do videos every couple of weeks because there's just so much going on, so much snowballing. And it's only through my busyness that I've not been able to explain all this to you. So that is a lot to take in one video. I know that. I really appreciate you listening and just any help. Uh, that can be offered to us as we grow as a charity that really wants to help create the change and the the light and love in the areas of the world that really need it. Rainforest conservation, great ape conservation, um, supporting children, vulnerable children, and helping alleviate poverty and the war in Congo. So that's quite a lot of aims, quite a lot to do. So without further ado, I'm going to get going and go and get on with some work. But um, as ever, thanks for being here. And uh, together we can be the change. So just bear that in mind. I'm going to get all emotional now. So this is adios from me. Namaste, everybody. Have a great day.